Today, I am testing my Surecom SR629 repeater controller. I have it set up with two Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS radios. This works in this particular way. The radio on the left is connected to my external antenna on a frequency of one, I'm sorry, of 445.000 UHF frequency. It receives any transmission that I send to it, sends it to the repeater box. The repeater box then sends that uh, signal to the radio on the right, which then transmits on a different frequency in UHF and sends it straight to my clear node. Now the radio on the right is set up for low power only. And because the node is only about 10, 15 feet away, no sense in running full power. And the node itself only runs about a half a watt. So the repeater, or the um, radio on the right sends a signal to the node. The node is set up in parrot mode. And in parrot mode, it will repeat anything sent to it. So after it receives the signal, it will then record it and then send it back to the radio on the right, which sends it to the repeater box, which then retransmits it out to the on the radio on the left all the way out through my external antenna however it also has a linear amplifier attached to it so it will send out about 35 or 40 watts through my base station antenna i'm using this repeater setup in order to extend the range of my clear node which once again only transmits at about a half a watt or less so what i've done is i've extended the transmit capabilities of the clear node to approximately 35 to 40 watts out to my external base station antenna. While I'm in the, my truck and I'm running around 50 watts in my truck, I probably can get a good maybe six or seven miles, maybe eight miles, who knows, depends upon what direction I'm going. And so therefore I am actually have a real use for this so I can talk using my node uh, quite a lot ways away and while I'm out maybe running errands or doing other things around town. This has been a very good repeater setup and I'm going to test it for you right now. Testing, testing, one, two, three, three, two, one. This is NADAV, testing, one, two, three. So as you saw, the radio on the left received the signal from the HT that I just transmitted on, transmitted that signal through the repeater box, and the repeater box then uh, set the radio on the right to, re to repeat that signal and transmit to my clear node. My clear node in parrot mode then retransmitted that signal back to the radio on the right, which sent the signal to the repeater box, and the repeater box then retransmitted that signal through the radio on the left out to my external antenna through my linear amplifier. This is a very nice little box. It works really well, except the cables that came with it are actually kind of cheap, and you might need to replace one or two in order to get the thing to work. I ended up uh, having to push the cables in really, really far in order to get it to work. If you don't do that, I suggest you look at the very bottom of the cable, and I'll show you that in a second, and you might see a little bit of flashing on the bottom of the cable. So if you cut that flashing off, it'll push, it'll allow you to push the cable in just a little bit farther, and that will make the repeater actually work properly. I'm hoping the camera picks this up, but if you look at the top of the black plastic, you'll see that there is some excess plastic protruding up around the plug. And you'll want to cut that off to allow for you to plug this all the way into the repeater. So make sure that you get this all straightened out before you start working with your repeater because uh, it will force it to not actually work properly. This is the only downside I found to this repeater, but uh, just want you to know that uh, this could be a problem. Overall, this repeater works 
exactly the way it's supposed to. I've tried it in both modes, mode one and mode two. And once again, it does work the way it's supposed to, and it works with all of my Baofeng radios, and it also works with one of my uh, TID radio H3 radios. I haven't tried it with the second one yet. Uh, anyway, this is a, a good little box, but the cables can be uh, difficult to work with. Uh, and as long as you know what you're doing, you'll know that uh, just to cut off a little bit of excess plastic and they should work fine for you. This is N8DAV, Dave in Prescott, Arizona, and this is Ham Radio Test and Review. Thank you for listening.